Hey everybody and welcome back to American Rod Shop. My name is Solon and in tonight's video I've got for you 10 amazing rare cars found in the eastern part of the United States. And one of them is a one of a kind. Also in tonight's video I'm going to be announcing the winner of the comic book that was given away last video. Okay, here's another very important reason to be a subscriber. I've decided to give one item away each video until we reach 20,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget to check out our other great videos. There are still a lot of good cars for sale in those videos, especially the ones that's been posted in the last month. So be sure to check those out as well. And don't forget that the links to the cars for sale in this video can be found in the video's description. All you have to do is click on that link and it'll take you straight to that ad where that car is at for sale. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You want to be one of the first ones to get notified when these upcoming videos drop. Then you'll have early access over to the ads located in the video's description and possibly find the car of your dreams. And in tonight's commentary question, it's kind of a feedback question. I've been toying with the idea of doing a live stream once a week. I want to see what you guys think about that. Again, it may or may not happen. Just something I'm going to try to do. But let me know your feedback. Drop your comments in the comment section below. We'll see what everybody's got to say about that. Let's get into the video with number one. This is a super rare 1967 AMC Ambassador Convertible listed in Monterey, Tennessee for $10,000 says it's been driven 105,000 original miles, has automatic transmission, the exterior color is aqua blue, and the interior color is black. The seller is the second owner. Seller's description is as follows. Super rare 1967 AMC Ambassador convertible with only 105,000 original miles. Garage kept most of its life and is in 100% original condition, excluding the front car seats, which were covered just a few years back. The body is straight and solid. It's 99% rust free. Check out the trunk pictures. Paint is good for its age. All glass and chrome is good. Great shape, runs great, and makes a cool daily driver. Extremely rare vehicle. Must see to believe. 10,000 or best offer. And guys, right off the bat, I'm giving this one my best deal seal. Number two, 1948 Studebaker Starlight Coupe, listed only a few miles away in Clarksville, Tennessee, for $12,900. Now it says it's been driven 102,345 original miles, has manual transmission, the exterior color is red, and the interior color is tan, and it has a clean title. The seller on this one is also the second owner. Seller's description is as follows, 1948 Studebaker Starlight Coupe. Amateur restoration on car was done around 10 years ago. Have all receipts for it. Been in storage for the last five years. It has new plugs, new coil, new condenser, etc. Still on the original six volt system. Runs and drives good and is mechanically sound, but has decided to run it off a gas can to run around town. Haven't had time to check the gas tank to make sure there's no debris, but the seller will hook up the gas line if you want him to. Driver's side window has a crack in it. All other glass is good. Good overall, and if you're looking for a classic that's at a good price so you can enjoy the hobby and use it as a daily driver, then this one's for you. $12,900 or best offer. Number three, 1958 Fiat 600 listed in Bristol, Connecticut, for $10,000. Now the mileage is unlisted, says it has a manual transmission, the exterior color is white and blue, the interior color is black, and it has a clean title. Seller's description is as follows. Looking to sell this modified 1958 Fiat 600. It has a late 80s slash early 90s 2.0 Audi engine with transaxle. The car has a roll cage and has been converted to a four-wheel disc brake system. This car started out as an old race car from Arizona and is rust-free. was modified and converted to a race car just a few years back, but still is street drivable. Drives great. Only issue is tires are too big, so it rubs on hard corners. $10,000 or best offer. 
for this 1958 Fiat 600. Number four. Now here's one I bet you didn't expect on American Rod Shop. 1944 white half track M4 slash A1 model listed in Cranston, Rhode Island for $75,000. Now it says that this ultra rare 1944 white half track M4-A1 designated service as an 81 millimeter mortar carrier. Serial number is 281442. This is only one of 366 ever made. Museum condition and runs and drives excellent. Always been kept in a climate controlled garage. Comes with a full spare set of new New old stock tracks and a full set of World War II bogey wheels in the original crate. Please note the M2 dummy machine gun is not included with the cell. This unit is for a true collector who appreciates not only the history behind it, but the extreme rarity of this vehicle as well. $75,000 or best offer, cash sell only. So guys, if you're looking for something unusual to add to your collection, you can afford this. This is a great rare item. Number five, rare 1934 Chevrolet Master Deluxe Hearse listed in Medina, New York for $42,000. Now this vehicle has been driven 30,000 miles since it was restored, has a manual transmission, the exterior color is gray, and the interior color is brown, and it has a clean title. Seller's description is as follows. Ultra rare 1934 Chevrolet Master Deluxe DB Series half ton hearse. This vehicle was a special order from Chevrolet in 1934 and is believed to be the only one in existence. It is an older restoration which was in service at a funeral home prior to being sold at Barrett Jackson, where it was purchased by the current owner. It has won several awards at a local car show and has the original wooden floor with rollers and wooden frame. The interior was not restored and is in excellent 100% original condition. It runs and drives as it should, has always been garaged, and has new tires and beautiful wire wheels. Seller is unfortunately going through a divorce and is having to sell it at a fraction of his original purchase price. $42,000 or best offer. And guys, I give this one my editor's choice award because it's just such an extremely rare item that comes up one of the only one known to exist and it's at a decent price forty two thousand dollars or best offer can't beat that all the way around and i wanted to mention the american rod shop store you can find the links to it over in the description there you can find t-shirts mugs mouse pads, posters, and much more items. And all the profits go back into the channel and is a great way to support the channel. Okay, everybody, let's pause right here and find out who won the comic book from last video called Hot Rod Comics. And we're going to go over to YouTube Random Comment Generator and pull a winner from there. You have to click on this website here, put in your video information. I'm going to go down to the bottom and do select a winner and see who this is. And the winner is. All right, give it a time to think there for a moment. It's Garland Harden. Garland Harden, you got three days to contact me at American Rod Shop at Yahoo.com. If you don't contact me in three days, it'll go back into the prize pool to be given away a later date. But if you'll contact me, I'll send you the information on how to receive your totally free prize. Congratulations to Garland on that win. Now, as promised, I'm going to give away one item every video until I reach 20,000 subscribers. This one is a Matchbox 1936 Ford Coupe. This little toy is really hard to find. They go for about $15 on the collector's market. I want to think one to a case comes in the stores. But anyway, we're going to give it away totally free. All you got to do is drop the word in the comment, car. Drop car in the comments and please subscribe as well. And you will be entered into the opportunity to win this hard to find matchbox car. 
Number six, 1934 Mack fire engine listed in Washington, Illinois for $21,000. Now the mileage is unlisted, says it has a manual transmission. The exterior color is red and the interior color is black and it has a clean title. Seller's description says this rare 1934 Mack fire engine runs and drives as it should, has been the center of attention in many parades. Everything about this truck is solid and has been garaged nearly all of its existence. Older amateur restoration a few years back, but still looks amazing. Comes with additional motor as well, $21,000 or best offer. And I think that's pretty cheap for a fire truck, especially one from 1934. Make a cool rod as well. Number seven, 1931 Ford Model A Woody Wagon listed in Harrison, Michigan for $15,000. Now it says this has been driven 74,000 miles since restoration. It has a manual transmission. The exterior color is green and black, and the interior color is gold and brown. And it has a clean title. Seller's description says this rare Ford Model A Woody Wagon runs and drives as it should. Restored not too many years back and was rebuilt to a much higher quality than the original issue, such as a little more modern seating for comfort and has drop-in plexiglass windows for safety. The body is solid with no rust, and this little car is a favorite on any outing. Lots of people come up and are always checking it out. $15,000 or best offer? We'll consider any interesting trades on pre-1971 vehicles. Number 8. 1947 Jaguar Saloon Mark IV. Listed in Winchester, Virginia, for $14,999. Now it says this car has been driven 55,595 original miles, has manual transmission, the exterior color is white, and the interior color is black, and it has a clean title. Seller's description says rare original condition 1947 Jaguar Mark IV saloon with a 1.5 liter engine. Car is a right hand drive. Car is a great candidate for a premium full restoration to make into a world class show car or preserve the car in its original condition. There are only original once. Engine was restored by a professional mechanic a few years ago and car will run and drive but needs a few other items to be roadworthy such as new hoses, tires, and radiator. This car has been garaged for most of its life and has only minimal small spots of rust. Still has the original paint and the interior are decent. Chrome is in good condition. This car is 100% complete. $14,999 is the asking starting bid for this car. Check out the ad for auction details. Number 9. 1941 Chrysler Royal 3 Window Coupe listed in Gross Point Farms, Michigan for $15,000. Now this vehicle has been driven 42,585 original miles has a manual transmission, the exterior color is black, and the interior color is gray, and it has a clean title. Seller's description reads as follows, Super Rare 1941 Chrysler Royal 3 Window Coupe with Fluid Drive. Has a super solid body and doors, only very minor dings in the body. Original paint is decent for its age. All chrome and trim is good. Floors and trunks do have some surface only corrosion, but the interior has been mostly redone, but still needs finishing out. Runs and drives great, but transmission will need some future attention. The brakes have been redone recently, including the master cylinder. It has a new gas tank, a new sending unit, and straps. $15,000 firm on this one, but man, this is a beautiful little coupe. Love these three window coupes. All right, made it to number 10, and this one is a 1965 Dodge short wheelbase panel truck listed in Calhoun, Georgia for $16,500. The exterior color is white and the interior color is black. Seller's description is as follows. You don't see many of these short wheelbase Dodges, especially for the year 1965. This is a very rare short wheelbase 1965 Dodge panel delivery truck. Has the original straight six cylinder with three speed on the column. Runs and drives good. Extremely well kept with a very solid body. 99% rust free. Body is super straight. 
Glass is all good and all electrical items works fine. All original interior still looks great. Listed for $16,500 or best offer and this seller is open to trades. So guys, if you've got something good to trade and you're looking for a nice little custom 1965 Dodge short wheelbase panel truck, hard, very hard to find, then this one could be for you. Just check it out and find out. Holy moly, I still say this is the fastest 15 minutes in all of YouTube. Thanks everybody for watching. I do appreciate you guys and gals. And don't forget to please like, subscribe, and share. And tell your friends about this uh, channel. It'll help it to grow and it may help them to find their dream car. But again, I want to thank everyone else for watching. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you guys in the next video where we're going to announce the winner from tonight's item. Plus give away another item. See you then, guys.